guys, wait a minute. This feels real familiar. How about this? First of all, how much fun is it to be here with our Attorney General, Jason Meharis? Our amazing Lieutenant Governor, Winston Sears. Oh, by the way, our next Congresswoman from the second gen Giggins. Now, I just want to ask everybody, when I say this feels familiar, doesn't it feel familiar? You can see what's happening. I mean, you can see Jen coming up on the outside. You can see, you can see Elaine Moyer kind of puttering around the inside. Here comes Jen, boom, Elaine, you know, listen, Moyer's trying to scrape some paint, you know, she's like trying to slow her down and Jen is just blowing by her. That's what's happening. Yeah. And what it reflects is the exact same thing that they said last year. The exact same thing that they said in every one of these races where they thought that the Democrat had it won. Well, guess what? They forgot to do one thing. Ask the voters. That's what they forgot to do. I mean, let's be serious. Virginia Beach is not blue. Virginia Beach is red. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is the heartbeat of freedom and patriotism right here. And, and by the way, we know a little something about freedom and patriotism in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And it stay, it's, its heart is right here in the, in the Hampton Roads home of the greatest military on the planet. Right here. Right here. I mean... I mean, listen, this is, this is where we, in fact, know that freedom is not free. This is where we know that we have men and women who are willing to sacrifice everything in order to protect those liberties that we hold dear. This is where we see every day, we see freedom walking down the street, and we hear the sound of freedom every night. And I'm telling you, we are going to send Jen Kiggins to represent this land of freedom in Washington. That's what we're going to go do. You know, what's, what's amazing to me is that, is that we have Lane Loria, we have Nancy Pelosi, and we have Joe Biden who literally are agents of chaos. I mean, think about it. Everything they try to do just makes it worse. <laughs> so here we are. We, we, we are reeling, reeling from runaway inflation. We see it everywhere. The grocery aisle, the gas pump, your utility bills, every aspect of our society is being crushed with this silent thief of inflation, stealing everybody's hard-earned money. And what do they do? They pass bills with more runaway spending and then have a garden party. That's what they do. They don't understand how to fix it. They, in fact, are complaining about crime. And what do they do? Demean law enforcement. We, we are worried about our, we're worried about national defense, and what do they do? They make America weaker. They sit there and look at our border and worry about overdose, and they invite more people in. It is absolutely unbelievable that they can't even begin to see the chaos that they have caused. And then to go back and ask for voters to send them back to cause more chaos, chaos gets one resounding comment, no. We're not doing it. And then we have Jen, who understands what it means to serve, who understands what it means to stand strong, who understands what it means to work for the people, who understands that we've got issues that need common sense solutions, and we have to go get it done. The choice is clear, and I vote for Kiggins. That's who I'm voting for. I mean, I, friends, I have said all along that the pathway to the majority in our House of Representatives runs through Virginia, and it's going to run through the second. And Jen Kiggins is going to go to Washington, 
and she is going to deliver that plane ticket, that plane ticket to Nancy Pelosi and fly her back to California. That's what she's going to do. You believe? You see, you see, this is, this is all about freedom and liberty. This is about freedom and liberty. Who, in fact, do we trust? to look out for our freedom and liberty. And I will tell you, there is no question at all right now in the Commonwealth of Virginia who, in fact, Virginians are trusting. They're trusting Jen Kiggins. They are trusting the Republican Party, and they are trusting each other to get out and do the work. And that's what we have to get done. We learned one thing last year, that when we lock arms and we go do the work, amazing things happen. But it doesn't happen unless we do the work. And the work requires everybody in this room to get out there and do it. And it's a lot more than just voting. What it means is you got to go find your 10 friends. Your 10 friends delivered last year in this district a plus 11% win. Do you understand that? That's what it did. And so we got to do it again. First, you got to put your list down to 10 friends. Not 10 people that are here, but 10 other people. And 10 people are going to vote the right way. Second of all, call those 10 friends and make sure that they have volunteered every possible way they can. We had 5,000 people last year working the polls election officials, poll watchers, handing out sample ballots. It was as if the, the Republican Party of Virginia had just shown up and, and set up residence at every single polling location in Virginia. And that's what we have to do again. You, you and your 10 friends got to get it done. Second thing you got to do with your 10 friends is you got to get them out to vote. How many people in here voted early? OK, you got to do better. You got to get out and vote. Friends, you might get sick. You might have a child who needs your help. You might not be able to make it on the 8th. Get out and vote now. And bring your 10 friends. If somebody says, well, I can't make it today, go pick them up in your car and take them to go vote. We've got to get the vote out. You understand more than any place in the Commonwealth of Virginia how quickly this can swing. If we don't show, they will, and guess what? Elections have consequences. And the consequences in the second district are dire unless we get Jen Kiggins in there. Friends, we have seen what the other side wants to do. We have seen the fact that they are more worried about their jobs and their interest in telling you what to do as opposed to going to work for you. We have seen that they don't understand how to run an economy. They don't understand what, what peace, through strength, peace through strength means. They don't understand what it means to back law enforcement. They don't understand the fact that parents matter. They don't get it. And as a result, we've got to remind ourselves that the winning team is the winning team. We have seen what happens when they have control. And they put our nation on a crash course with a terrible destiny. And we've got to fix it. I mean, listen, we are the winning team. We're the team that does believe in strong families and safe neighborhoods. We're the team that believes in low taxes and low regulations. And oh, by the way, American-made products. We understand that there is, in fact, peace through strength, not weakness through weakness. We understand that, in fact, our schools are supposed to be teaching our children how to think, not what to think. And we understand that parents matter. Friends, you can see it happening around us. We are standing up strong for these shared beliefs. 
These beliefs that extend well beyond Republicans versus Democrats. These are Virginia values. These are American values. And we have to get this done. Listen, we know something about liberty and freedom in this state. It was Thomas Jefferson who wrote the most immortal words written in this hemisphere that we hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal and they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights and among them are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And these are not rights that are granted to us by a king or elites in Washington or in Richmond. They have been granted to us by God Almighty, and we're going to stand up and defend them. So it's time to do the work. It's time to do the work that all of you have demonstrated you know exactly what to do. We have to lock arms and get this done and get Jen Kiggins elected to Congress and make sure that we take back our house and ensure the future of this great country right here in the second. God bless you. God bless Virginia. And let's go get this done.